Hi, I'm Megan Amram. I love science, but I also love looking good. I went to Harvard. Let's begin. Science. Ooh, sexy. Don't get sexy just science. Ooh, sexy. For today's experiment, we're gonna make a biological clock out of a potato. You're gonna start by just making a regular potato clock. You'll need copper wire, galvanized nails, alligator clips, potatoes, uh, duh, and an LED clock. Can we like speed this up? Amazing. Now I'm gonna show you how to turn this potato clock into a biological potato clock. A biological clock is the thing within us that tells us to have babies. So you're gonna to wanna to take one of your alligator clips and just jab it into its neck Hi, right there. Oh, hi. Dr. Beverly McKeon. Yeah, Dr. Beverly McKeon. Yes, you're an engineer and aeronautics professor at Caltech. Thank you for coming. You have a real job. I don't have a real job. I put hot hobo on my tax returns. Did you want to hear about my research? OK. Sexy science. So I want to ask what I think of as the most universal question in science. Do you like me? You're an engineer and aeronautics professor at Caltech researching efficiency and performance challenges in aerospace vehicle design. So how did you first get interested in planes? Well, I really wanted to fly fast fighter jets. And at the time, making the decision in England when I was growing up, I couldn't fly anything that was fast and exciting enough. So, you know, I thought I'd do the next best thing and design them instead. Why were you trying to fly so fast? Were you trying to get to like a fun spring break in Miami? Do you have Miami in England? Not presently, no. You study fluid mechanics. What exactly is fluid mechanics? Well, fluid mechanics, or at least the bit that I study, is the flow over surfaces. So when you're in your Prius uh, and you have the windows down, there's mm. some fluid mechanics with the sound that's made by the air coming in the windows. I always have the windows down because it mm. dries the nails faster. Mm. And I'm usually like trying to go somewhere really fun where I'm gonna have to like pick up stuff, like maybe a hat or a sandwich. So I don't wanna have wet nails. Well, you know, drying, drying of your nails is also a fluid mechanics problem. How does it feel to be the first female associate director of Gausset? That sounds awesome. It's really an honor. Gausset yeah. sounds like a fun like evening where all my best girlfriends would come over and we'd all like sit on the couch and watch The Notebook again. <laughs> have you ever thought of maybe like, making that what it stands for? Huh. I think you could do that. We could. So it stands for Graduate Aerospace Laboratories, and that's pretty representative of the things that we do. For something that starts with gal, you'd think mm. that you should get women in it. I mean, like, I love women. You know, we have some women, but we have a way to go. So, uh, you know, the field is uh, one in which we're really actively encouraging women to, to take part. You're trying to solve turbulence, the last great physics problem. How are you going to solve it? Can't you just not fly and then it's just not there? But how would you get to Miami? Oh, that's so true. Are there any sorts of techniques you're using to solve turbulence? Yeah, so we do a combination of experiments uh, and simulations. So we do experiments where we put models of uh, vehicles. Models? Well, we call models in the sense of more like small versions of aircraft and ships. We put those into okay. wind and water tunnels. I would love to be uh, one of your small models. <laughs> when the World Cup changed their soccer ball, you tested the new design. The Jabalani soccer ball that was used in the 2010 World Cup was made to be extremely smooth, which we would imagine would be a good thing. Yeah. But it's actually one of those counterintuitive examples in fluid mechanics where because it was so smooth, the flow around the ball behaved very differently. And so the soccer players were having trouble getting the ball to behave the way they wanted uh, it to. Maybe they're just bad soccer players. Now you work with the Galsit wind tunnel. Have you ever gone in the wind tunnel and like taken down your hair and just pretended to be Beyonce? Do you have Beyonce in England? Uh, we do have Beyonce in England, okay. yes. Yeah. No, I haven't, Megan, but I am sure people have. Thank you so much, Beverly. Biological time flies when you're having fun. This has been Experimenting with Megan Amram. Tune in next time, and until we meet again, remember, I went to Harvard. Cheers. <laughs> oh my god! Science. Ooh, sexy. Thank you for watching Experimenting with Megan Amram. To watch more, click here. To subscribe to Smart Girls, click here. You've already clicked here. Oh my god, I love you guys.